Random Trypticon! Hey guys, and welcome to Masterpieces, Masterpieces, Episode 10. I know I'm coming to you a week late, and Episode 9, which was called Evolution, came out last week. Um, but the weather, honest to goodness, has really been that terrible, and I haven't been able to upload anything. I, would, I didn't even get the chance to watch the episode until Tuesday of this week? Wednesday? Something? Tuesday or Wednesday? So, it, it's been... For the internet, it's been a rough week for me. Um, but anyway, I am here to talk to you about episode 9, which is called Evolution. And uh, Soundwave and Megatron are not here, but I have for you um, Random Trypticon! Anyway, episode 9 it starts out. Megatron and Starscream are on their way into an abandoned mine, and Starscream is freaked out. He thinks, rock bottom? Is this happening to me again? Um, but we actually find out they go to Shockwave's off-site Predacon lab. And um, they're chit-chatting, talking about the project and this and that, and Megatron informs Starscream that his little stunt with the synthetic Energon cost him not only in the Insecticons, but also more than half of his troops. So we know that the Decepticon army is hurting a little bit. And it greatly bothers Megatron. Um, anyway, so they're they're talking about things, and then... Predaking, the Predacon shows up, and Starscream hits him with a pole, and we see Predaking transform. Finally, random Trypticon. After after how long have we been waiting for this moment? Finally, we get to see him transform, and it's awesome. It's just awesome. I was just <gasps> perfect, perfect. And I don't know why everyone's complaining about his voice. I think his voice is awesome. I think it's perfect. I think it works. And he, he just tells Starscream, if you ever hit me with this again, yada, yada, yada. It reminded me of Caesar when he says no. He just, Predaking had his no moment. He just said, you, no, you do not treat me like an inferior being anymore, man. It was great. And um, he sees the Predacon clone army and pledges undying allegiance to Megatron, but in return wishes to be the Predaking and wishes to command the Predacon troops. Okay. All right. Megatron has a little side conference with his closest, with his little, with his closest guys, and he says, you know... This Predacon is good to have in your backyard, but he's got a lot of ambition. What if he one day realizes how much power, more powerful he is and how much more powerful his army is than mine right now? He might, and then Starscream says evolution becomes revolution. So Megatron decides that what he needs to do is destroy the Predacon clone army before Predaking can be given command of it and be given the chance to possibly threaten Megatron and they plan to make it look like the Autobots did it. Eh, very nice, guys. They plan to make the Autobots do it so that maybe Predaking, in his anger, will attack and destroy the Autobots, thinking that they took away his his opportunity to be the Predaking, or whatever, and have, and have uh, pre Predacons of his own kind, you know, robots of his own kind to hang around with. So... Anyway, anyway, we cut back to the Autobots, and things are just kind of going along uh, as normal. Ultra Magnus doesn't feel like he belongs, and uh, Optimus Prime tells him it's not about just being an army, and uh, I don't know. And then right back to the Decepticons. We get five minutes with the Autobots, right back to the Decepticons, just like, all right, this is where the Autobots are at. Boom. More story over here. So they, uh, the Decepticons set up a signal and everything else, and the Autobots go to check it out. And the Autobots have kind of become like scavengers. They, you know, um, they're really low on energy, and they, they just kind of scavenge from the Decepticons. They shoot down all these Steves, and then they take all the energy on. And it's kind of, they're getting a little desperate, I think. Um, but anyway, they, uh... The wreckers go down in there and they find out, oh my god, it's it's Shockwave's lab and Shockwave is there and um, they stage it all very well to make it look like the Autobots really did 
um, discover the place, and the Decepticons didn't lead them there at all. Uh, so Ultra Magnus and Wheeljack, who have had problems for forever, they're there, and uh, they decide to just blow the place up. So they do. And Predaking shows up, and he sees that the Autobots have blown up his Predacon army, and he flips shit. Random Trypticon! And seriously, one of the best fights I've ever seen on this show happened. It was bad, badass. It was just the, it was so well animated. It was a great fight. It was a great fight. Great fight. And Predaking kicked some aft. Predaking kicked some aft. Some serious aft. It was great to see him, you know, show what he can do in robot mode. He was kind of scary. Um, and then Optimus Prime shows up to, you know, save Ultra Magnus and Wheeljack's butts. So no Autobot deaths in this episode. Sorry. I keep waiting for them to have the ball bearings to just knock one of them off. Just one of them. But anyway, um, <clears throat> Ultra Magnus does lose his hand, though. So... He lost his hand, so there's something, I guess. Something bad it did happen to an Autobot. Um, now, Predaking has fallen right into Megatron's hands. He gets pissed off that the Autobots got away, and he um, Megatron just says, I'll do everything I can to make sure that we can eradicate the evil Autobots, blah, blah, blah. So Predaking's like fallen right into Megatron's little plan, so we're going to have to see where that goes. Um, the Autobots return, and Optimus says, it's much more about, it's not just about being an army, it's about being a family. Yee, mushy. Mushy, mushy, mushy. But, the end of the episode, Shockwave tells Megatron that there's something he has to see at the lab. And at the lab, Shockwave tells him, when this blew up, there was one thing we weren't counting on, and that was, there was all this synthetic energy on. It's a knockout brought down all this synthetic energon. And in reaction to the explosion or whatever else, Shockwave is kind of hinting at the fact that maybe the Predacon army didn't get destroyed. Maybe they were given light. And then the episode ends. So, are we going to see more Predacons? I think so. Are the Decepticons and the Autobots going to be in major trouble? I think so. I think so. There's no way that you know, they're going to tease us with more Predacons, more Predacons, and then um, just have them get all blown up in an episode. That would just be lazy and sad on the writer's part. So I'm thinking we're going to see more Predacons. Optimus saving the day again. Ugh. But it was awesome to see Predaking fight. Really awesome. Now, YouTube, or uh, Hasbro has started taking down episodes of Transformers off of YouTube. Um... So I don't think we're going to be able to watch them on there anymore. So if you want to watch them, you're going to have to try a little harder to find them online. Um, and as soon as I find the uh, this week's episode, I will be back at you with another episode of Masterpieces Masterpieces. Until then, all hail Megatron. Random Trypticon!